I'm going to be talking about the three main methods of heat transfer. This is very important for building science and your use of insulation. Let's begin with conduction. Conduction is when heat transfers by touch. So imagine a, a spoon, you put it into hot boiling water and then it gets really hot. That's important here in construction because insulation itself is very good to prevent conduction. That's what the foam is for. The next method is radiation. So for example, imagine the sun, the sun is hitting my face. It's not touching me, of course, but I definitely feel the heat. So that's a radiation heat transfer. And that's also very important why we have here on the insulation, this kind of mirrory surface so that when we get this radiation, it actually bounces back off of it and uh, you don't get that heat into the house. The third method is convection, and that's typically when fluids mix uh, with different temperatures. So imagine a balloon, and then you have a hot plume. That balloon will rise th through that hot plume, and then that hot air basically mixes with the cold air, and that's convection. Now, how does that apply for construction? That applies mainly for air tightness. So when we have a nice airtight house, we prevent those fluids from escaping the house and mixing with the cold air, the hot air, whatever it is. 